What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another quarterfinal preview. We are going through the uh, the next quarterfinal between Batista Agut and Guido Pella. So Roberto Batista Agut, two of the probably the biggest surprises of the tournament. Not big servers, not big ground stroke hitters. Pretty solid players overall, but they're not grass court players in the classic sense of a big serve and a big forehand. So very interesting to see. These guys have gotten through. We'll see how these guys have gotten to the quarterfinals to this meeting here. So let's go through Batista Agut's first uh, road to the quarterfinals. So he actually got to the round uh, round of 16 last year. Lost to Marin Cilic. Uh, sorry, in 2017, lost to Marin Cilic, who ended up making the final. So not a terrible loss there. As you can see, he hasn't dropped a set all week. He has been absolutely unstoppable. Uh, he got a, the benefit on the second round with a retirement. Uh, but then after the second round and the first round winning uh, wins, he beat Hashinov in straight sets. Very, very good wins there because beating Hashinov on grass courts, Hashinov's got a huge game and can trouble people on grass. Good win for uh, RBA on that one. And then against Pear, that could have been a really tricky... Um, you know, it's always going to be tricky when you play pair on any surface. It just depends which one shows up. Turns out the uh, the bad one showed up against RBA, and RBA got through in straight sets against pair to get to this quarterfinal. Let's see how Pella got to this point. Now, Pella had a great clay court season, which is why I'm very shocked that he made the quarterfinals here on a grass court because I thought maybe he was just a clay court player. Maybe he was. Uh, maybe his season was over when the clay court season finished a couple of months, a couple of weeks ago. But it just show, shows that he's actually pretty decent on all surfaces. Uh, so his best result here was last year in the third round, lost to McDonald in the third round. First round against Choppel, tricky opponent because Choppel is a serve volleying player, which is very good on the grass courts. He beat Choppel in four sets. Then Andrea Seppi, he beat Andrea Seppi coming back from two sets to one down. Then he played Kevin Anderson, and that's when I thought, well, okay, this is where he's going to end his tournament. Uh, Anderson, you know, finalist of last year, good grass court player, good big serve. It's going to be very hard to, you know, beat a guy like that. But as you can see by the score, Pella put him away in straight sets so easily. Very, very easily, which was a big shock. Then he tried. Then he played Rajonic in the fourth round. Rajonic was my pick at the start of the tournament to make the semi-finals against Djokovic. So these guys are both in Djokovic's half of the draw. Uh, so keep that in mind. The winner of this plays the winner of Djokovic versus Goffin. But as you can see, Rajonic was up two sets of love, and then. Somehow, Pella came back. It was insane. It was one of the best wins of his career. Uh, got him into this stage, beating a former finalist, at, you know, two former finalists at Wimbledon back to back. I mean, that's a great run. And now he plays Batista a good in the next round. A big opportunity for Pella to get to the semi finals. Let's look at their head to head now because that's where things get a little bit interesting. So, unlike some of the other quarterfinals, these guys haven't played that much. They've only played the two times. Batista Agut is winning that 2-0, so that's very interesting to keep in mind. Uh, the last time they played was this uh, was this year on a clay court in Munich. As you can see, 6-4 four, uh, to Pella in the first set, 6-4 to RBA in the second set, and then RBA ran away with it. They did play at the Australian Open in 2017 uh, as well, so that is something to keep in mind. Batista Agut winning that one in straight sets. So the keys to this match, let's go through them. So as you can see, last time they played, which was only probably two or three months ago, RBA won seven of 13 break points. So a lot of break point opportunities, and he converted at least half of them. He's probably going to have to convert more of them if he's going to beat him again uh, this uh, you know this uh, tournament. So then the last time they played, Pella was only serving, uh, he was only winning, sorry, 35% of second serve points. So that is a big key. It means that RBA was attacking the second serve, and that's where he was losing a lot of the points. So Pella's going to have to make sure he either doesn't hit many second serves or that he gets in the rallies when he's serving second serve, so he doesn't get attacked by the RBA return. So in the last round, RBA won five of nine breakpoint opportunities. So he converted a lot of breakpoints when he got them. And then in the last round against Rayonic, Pella hit 57 winners. Now that was over five sets, but still 57 winners. That is a lot of winners for one match. Let's go through who's going to win this one. So I think out of... Probably out of the four quarterfinals, this is going to be one of the toughest ones to pick because a guy like Pella, who has proven me wrong many times this tournament, uh, you know, I, I rate him as a, as a good clay court player, but I wasn't sure about the grass court. He just keeps proving me wrong, so it's hard to pick against him. RBA is solid on all surfaces. He's a very good player on every single surface. Uh, like I said, the winner of this match will play the winner of Goffin versus Djokovic in the semifinals, so... I'm kind of thinking, well, I'd rather watch RBA versus Djokovic, but 
you know, we can't control that. Pella might win this one. So uh, I think that due to the fact that Pella's played a lot more tennis this this tournament, he's played two five-set matches, a four-set match, and uh, RBA's not lost a set. I think that's where I'm going to have to make my prediction. I think that it's going to be Roberto Batista a good wins this one. I think he wins it in four sets. I'm going to give Pella the first set. I think that um, I think RBA will be too strong in the end. The longer the match goes on, the harder it's going to be for Pella to win the match because he's played a bunch of five set matches already. He's coming off a five set match against Rayonic as well, coming back from two sets of love. So he's going to be tired. So I think the longer the match goes on, the better chance that RBA has. So that's who I think is going to win. I think RBA is going to get to the semifinals uh, of Wimbledon, which will be, I think, his best result on a Grand Slam, which is great for him as well. So that's who I think is going to win. Make sure you stick around. We are going to be going through all the quarterfinals. Uh, so make sure you come back to watch, watch the other videos. Also, we're going to be doing quarterfinals on the live shows as well. So make sure you come along and say hi. We go through the chat. We do all the fun stuff we usually do if you are new to this channel uh, make sure you come along because that's where the fun part actually happens uh, don't forget to subscribe as well don't forget to like the video and i'll see you all in the next one